Hi everyone! In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to import data from an Excel file into eViews and how to run a linear regression in eViews. Um, most of the computers in the computer labs on campus have eViews, um, so you can use it there for free. And once you open eViews, you're going to have a window that looks like this. And in order to op um, in order to import data from an Excel file into eViews, I'm going to first go to File, Open, Foreign Data as Work File. Um, from there, I'm going to select the file that I want to import. And so I have this data file called sample data um, that I want to import. So I'm going to press open. What's going to pop up is this window that says Excel read, um, steps one of three. And you're not going to change any of the settings. You're just going to go next, next, and finish. Um, now I have all my data in eViews. And so I have this data file that includes um, data on wage, marital status, IQ, education, experience, so on and so forth. Um, and it's now in this work file on eViews. If I want to look at the data, um, for example, if I want to see the variable, um, the values of age for people in my data set, I can double click on age and you can see the ages of people in my data set here. Now that I have my data imported, I can now run a regression. And there's multiple ways you can do this in eViews, but the easiest way is to go to Quick Estimate Equation. Um, so for example, if I want to estimate a simple, a simple linear regression, estimating the impact of education on wage, um, in this equation X specification box, I'm supposed to put my dependent variable followed by the list of regressors. So my dependent variable in this example is wage. Um, what's important that you do in eViews is that you have to specify a constant um, or intercept. So I'm going to put the letter C. And then my X variable was education, so EDUC. And you can see the variable names over here. Um, under estimation settings, I'm going to leave it as least squares, or OLS, because I want to estimate the line of best fit. And then you're going to select OK. Once you select OK, you're going to get this regression output window. Um, again, your dependent variable is wage. Um, and you can see your estimated coefficients on your constant on uh, the X variable education and the corresponding standard errors and test statistics. Um, so in this example, I found that my intercept was 170 and the slope or the coefficient on education was 33.58. Um, so this is a simple linear regression example, but suppose in your homework you want to find a line of best fit um, when you're trying to find, estimate the impact of education on wage, but controlling for other variables such as experience. So I'm going to exit out of this. And so I'm going to run a new regression. So I'm going to go to Quick Estimate Equation. My Y variable, again, was wage. And I had a constant C. And my X variable of interest was education. Um, but I'm going to control for an additional variable um, called experience. So EXPER is experience, um, which is the variable name. And again, you're going to keep the estimation settings, um, the method still as least squares, and you're just going to select OK. And so what pops up in the regression output window um, is you now have an extra variable called experience. You have new estimated coefficients and standard errors. <laughs> Um, if you want to save your output for your homework, all you need to do is just select and highlight all of your data, and you can copy and paste this into um, a Word document. So that's all you need to know for um, how to import data from an Excel file into eViews and how to run a linear regression in eViews.